Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we do the rest of the Fence Postcaster. How's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. And if you have not been following this project, we did another video. Actually, there's two other videos. Uh, this is part three and the finale of we're going to make a fence post into a Telecaster. We're going to bolt this neck to it. We're going to put a pickup in it and we're going to play it and we're going to see what it sounds like. We're going to put an amp in the backyard. It's been raining for days. I apologize for the delay on this whole project, but we are finally going to do it today. It is sunny and beautiful, so let's do this thing. Okay, so one of the things that came up on YouTube's, everybody was worried that the screws, because we have to bolt it from the front, so I countersunk all those holes so we can go ahead and chuck this thing up on the fence. Let's do it right now. Alright, now the only other thing we gotta do is we gotta go find a bridge. Okay, so I wasn't actually gonna go ahead and cannibalize one of my own guitars for this bridge, but uh, the other one didn't come in in time and I don't want to make the internet wait any longer for part two of this whole experiment. So, we're just gonna go ahead and grab the bridge off of this guitar. And here's why. This can be strung from the back. So, as a top loader, which is the whole point we need for our little experiment. The assembly is crude, but it will work. We have a bridge that can be strung from the back, and then we have a volume and a tone, and an output jack. I think we're ready for a fence post. All right, YouTube, so here's the deal. You fell down on a job. I'm really surprised that a million comments didn't come in and alert me to the fact that when I routed this into the fence post, I put it the wrong way, like the wrong angle, this way, and that made it, actually I put it in backwards, and that made it to where when I put this in, I had to adjust my route a little bit because I actually routed the pickup in upside down because I was on camera and apparently not looking at what I was doing. I'm really surprised that there was a million comments that didn't figure that out. So, we have corrected that situation. I am just now double checking the distance on the deal here. I like how that's going to intonate. That's going to be pretty cool. That's going to be close. We're still going to have to adjust it. Uh, but before we actually put this in the fence, we'll just let it sit there. Before we put that into the fence, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to go ahead and get a screw that we can mount up the control panel so that it sits right. And then the other thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to put the strings on so that uh, I can use the strings to align the bridge just because it's a fence post. All right, so I've strung all the strings through the bridge. Getting tangled up in the output jack. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the fence. And what I'm going to do is use the low and the high E to at least to the my, my best of my ability anyway on a ladder a line so the bridge is hanging straight all right so here we are we're about to tune it up okay so what we have here is the Vox MV50 clean going into my 112 cabinet this is the maiden voyage I haven't even heard this thing yet so I'm literally just gonna turn this on volume and ba uh, bass and treble at 12 o'clock volume at something I don't know how loud it's gonna be and we're in my neighborhood so we'll see this is what a week of work and a bunch of fooling around culminates in So, I was fortunate enough before we put up the original video to have my buddy Scott come over and he's going to pull off whatever he's going to pull off playing a fence post. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So 
why did I even do this experiment in the first place? Well, the big deal is, is that everybody gets all bent about the finest tuned little things uh, about guitar tone and what makes guitars work. And the bottom line is, you can strap a neck to a fence post and make music with it. Over the next week or so, I'm going to have some friends over and we're probably going to do some live video on our Facebook page on Dylan Talks Tone and stuff like that. We're going to probably use some different effects and have a couple of different people playing different styles. I'll throw it up on YouTube. Uh, so this is going to kind of be an ongoing experiment. I'm going to cover it up in case it rains and we're going to let people come over and play this thing and do different things with it. To prove that getting all super anal about this stuff is really kind of overkill. You could put a neck on a fence and play music with it. So, what does that mean for everybody? It just means experiment. Try things. There's no dumb ideas. Just because a guitar company has been doing something a certain way for 200 years doesn't mean 50 years, 60 years, 200 years, it doesn't matter. Doesn't mean that a new idea can't have some legitimacy. Are we going to come out with a fence post guitar? No. But the idea is imagine think enjoy what you do and it doesn't matter what somebody did a hundred years ago just try stuff and get out there and play my name is dylan this is dylan talks tone you're going to see this thing more over the next couple of weeks we are going to probably have some people over here we'll throw a pedal board in front of it uh, we'll do a couple of different experiments tonally and uh, and just play around right like that's the whole point point. and you're going to say well this is pointless Maybe, but imagination is key and not being bound to one way of doing things is key. This is just fun to have fun. That's all it is. Lighten up a little bit and enjoy making music, whether it's a fence post or whether it's a 51 Blackguard telly. Have a good one and we will talk to you soon.